Hello, so we are back to work on this panel, which is the back right side panel here. So we're going to be doing this. So what you're going to need for this is a base, oops, where's our base piece? A base piece, eight and three quarters inch, inches long by six and a half inches wide. So that's gonna be our base. And then we are going to have one flap that is also eight and three quarters inches long and seven and one eighth inch wide. And you are going to score it on this long edge here, a half an inch and then five eighths of an inch. So we're going to create a quarter inch little gusset there. And that is going to be adhered to the left side of our base right here. So this little flap. I already have my score tape ready to go. Just make sure when you're applying it, you have your gusset down so you can line it up with your edge. Just adhere it there. And then I will get this done and then we will work on these. These are going to be our slanted pockets. So you're going to be cutting two pieces, seven and a half inches by six and three quarters inches. So two pieces, seven and a half by six and three quarters. And these will form our tri, our, our flaps, or angled flaps. Not angled flaps, angled pockets, sorry. So I'm gonna get this adhered and then we'll come back and work on these angled pockets. So now we're going to work. I got my flap on. <laughs> there it is. Yay, yay. Now we're going to work on our angled pockets. So get one of your oh, uh, uh, one of your um, seven and a half by six and three quarter inch pieces. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it in your scoreboard with the seven and a half inch side on the top here. And you are going to score half an inch, turn around, seven inch, seven and a half inches on top again, half an inch. And then with the six and three quarter inch side on top, you're going to score it a half an inch. And then you will fold and burnish all these like we normally do. And you're gonna add your score tape if you use score tape. I've already added my score tape on those three sides. I've mitered my corners and my mitered the top of my pocket. So here's the prototype I made so I can actually see. So this is, here's the front. This is the flap we made. This is going to be the front. Here's the base. And we're going to make an angled pocket in this direction. And you, I don't know if you can see, there's another angled pocket facing it in this direction. So all my lines and squiggles to figure out what I was doing. So once you have it mitered and your tape applied, dry fit it just to make sure it does indeed fit in that space. And we want our pocket to be going down in this direction towards the spine. So everything is folded. It looks like it's a good fit. So then what you're going to do is you are, this is the spine side, you are going to go down from this spine edge here four and a half inches and you're going to make a tick mark, four and a half inches. Going back to the same spine, you are going to go four and a half inches in this direction. I've already made my tick mark. Four and a half 
four and a half inches in this direction. Put your little tick mark. Then what you're going to do is join those two lines. And then you're going to, you can either put it, cut it by hand or put it in your um, cutting tool and just cut it off. I don't trust myself cutting by hand, so I'm going to put it in my trimmer and just cut from here to here in my trimmer. So you're going to do that with one piece, and I'm going to go ahead and trim it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut mine, and it will be going into our base. This is just the prototype. Did I? Here's my here's my base, but it's easier for you guys to see with these colors. So, what you're going to do, you're going to open up your little thing and adhere it down. Make sure it fits. Um, once you get this this right pocket down. So if say this is my right pocket and I'm going to put it down and I put it down here. So the next the next piece, same thing, you're going to score it um, with the seven and a half inch side up. You're going to score it a half an inch, half an inch. And then with the six and three quarter inch side up, you're going to score it a half an inch. And to add, you're going to fold and really give those a good burnish. You're gonna add your score tape. If you do do score tape, miter, miter your corners. So there's, we take out as much bulk as we can. And I always like to miter the top of my pocket. So we know this one is going to be going in this direction, this direction, right here. So for the first one, it should still measure from the spine. We're doing every all the measurements from the spine. This is folded. So from the spine, what I am going to do, I'm going to butt it up against the one we just cut and make sure my lines are straight down here just because I want to make sure that this, where this stops is where I'm going to put my my tick mark. That should be four and a half inches. Let's see what it comes out to. But measurements are not always perfect. Five inches, yay! So that was good. And then same thing, you're going to go from the spine again. Four and a half inches out in this direction. Da -da -da. Four and a half inches. I put my little tick mark there. And then once again, you're going to draw a line from that tick mark to this tick mark. Yep, see my thumb got in the way. And you're going to cut it. So I'm going to put mine in the my cutter and I'm going to cut it and then we will be back. So we have our little thing oops, put together. So what we're going to do is starting with decoration. We are, this is, this is my intent. What I want it to do was make, we're going to make something like this because what I want those two angled pockets to do I want I want you to be able to stuff as many recipes that you can into these but you have easy access to them um, so you can still f find them and the way I'm probably going to do it I'm probably going to have like breads um, breads and um, over on this side and sweets and pastries on this side 
I don't know. And I might uh, see how it goes. But to keep this all closed, what I want to do, because I want it to be packed, but I want it to be able to stay closed. So we're going to make one of these little button string closures again. So what first you're going to do, you are going to cut, I just cut mine, you are going to cut two of your 100% ATC tags. So that's what we're going to make those little closures with. And then you're going to cut, draw two of these on the cherries, the large from the, the 12 by 12. I love this cherry paper and I wish I had more. I don't have enough. I just love this cherry paper. Um, so you're gonna tra trace two of these on the cherry from the 12 by 12. This is going to be making our cover. Okay, so what you're going to do, I've cut out my, um, my 96% ATC tag template in the cherry. So that's going to go over our 100%. So get a nice reveal. And then you're going to cut out, this is um, 87 pound cardstock. You're gonna cut four of these out with your three quarters of an inch circle punch. And you're going to glue two of them together. Make it nice and strong. Get that dry. And this other one. Let that dry. And then you're going to cut two of these and I like to kind of center it around that flower. This is with your, what size is the stamp? Your five eighths of an inch circle punch. And you're going to ink that and then put it in the center of your black one. And then we'll set those aside to dry. But I gotta ink those first. I haven't cut this piece out yet for my cover because I found, this was like just a little scrap that I had cut off from something else. And I thought, well, I'm just gonna put that down here and then put this right on top of it. Or I might just adhere this to the, um, the, the lighter blue paper itself. I just thought that was pretty just to have a little um, dark blue edging there. It's not much, it's not a lot, but it just it just makes it look nice. Don't you think that looks, that just looks a little bit nicer. So that's what I'm gonna do. Probably going to adhere this to this and then cut out my paper, um, ink the edges, and then um, do not put it on top yet. <laughs> Still have to work on these, but get this cut out. And if you want to do this little edging, you can. And I'll be right back. So next you're going to put your, your uh, little tags and you're going to score one at half, an in, half of an inch. And then one eighth inch right above it. So we're gonna have an eighth of an inch gusset on this guy. And on this guy, you're just going to go straight to one, two, three, four, five eighths, which is half of an inch plus the one eighth of an inch. There's not gonna be a gusset on this side because we're not gonna be going around the little folder we made. So we got those. Then go ahead and fold and burnish those. Now for me to make my little gusset. Uh, 
Okay, got my little gusset. We only need the gusset on one side. Um, then, oops, I forgot to ink. Got to ink my paper. I'm going to ink it and then cut it to the right size. So I have to cut part of this off. And same thing with this guy. So I'm going to ink those and then get these cut to the right size. Um, well, let me do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so these are covered with our paper. So now you're going to get your your template again. And remember we made this hole already. That's going to be where we're going to put our hole. So we just put it down on the designer paper and line it up and put our pokey tool in there and push through. So there's one, same thing, line it up with the designer paper, put our pokey tool in there and push through. Now we have our little buttons that we made. So I've already centered them on my cutting mat. So good, this one's like right in the center of that thing I cut. So that one was pretty easy. This one, I didn't quite center it, right? So get our brads. those in. Yeah, that one I didn't quite get right in the center. Oh. And put this in there. Pull out the wings. We still have to make some, put some designer paper on the back here. Spread those guys out. Okay, so the way this is going to work. So the one that has the quarter inch gusset, this one is, this is wrapping around the whole, this is wrapping around the whole little folder. Oops, oh my goodness, okay turn it this way. This one is wrapping around the whole folder. So this one is going to be adhering to the back side here. And I think I measured it three and three quarters of, the, of an inch up is where it's going to be aligned. Three and three quarters of an inch is where the end of it's going to be. So about right here. So that one you're going to affix on the back side here. Where, where are you, camera? So that one's going to be fixed to the back side of the base. Now this one, you're going to fold that whole flap over and you're going to put this on the front. You're going to fix it to the front. So I'm going to open this up just to show you. So where you're going to put this, since you can't see it, you're going to put this. This one is the one without the gusset. You're going to put this on the front of this little folder. About... Um, about an eighth of an inch, not quite of an eighth of an inch from the fold line. And obviously you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna go up three and three quarters of an inch and you're going to affix that to the front. So this will be affixed to the back side, so we can close it. And they will be lined up like this and then we'll 
we'll attach our string, but we can do that later. Then after we do that, then we could add our paper to the front here. So have the flaps in. I ended up drawing a line here so I would have something to line it up with. So those are the flaps. Remember this one is adhered to the front, the front, and then this one was adhered to the back base. I put some black construction tape over it also just to reinforce it. And then we are going to be adding this piece. I've already inked the edges, so that's going to be fitting in like this. And it still fits. So if it doesn't fit because you put the flap in, you may need to trim a little off, but this one still fits. So that's the way it's going to look. That's so pretty. And then we'll add our twine closure and then we'll be done with the front. Okay, what a mess I got. So I have everything, this is all in. So just gonna tie the twine. I'll lift this up a little bit and just barely Bend it up just a little bit. Once the string gets under there, the string acts as a spacer and it'll get trained up. But this card's, those are pretty thick. So I'm gonna tie it around here. Oh, I can't even tie. Oh my God, it's upside down so I can't tie. Oh goodness. So get a tie there and then one more time on the other side. Like this wax, this this waxed um, linen thread, it really grabs. And then I'll just cut that off. Trim this off. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to be adding a charm. Probably not, but I'll just leave some just in case. So isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. So that what you have to do um, on the rest of this front part is just cover the back part. And what I'm going to use, I'm just going to be using some scraps that I have. And I'm going to be tracing, I, I like this one. So I'll be doing that on that side and this on this side. Oops, yeah, I should have enough. Yeah, I should have enough. So those are going to be my back pieces for the flaps. And then we'll be done with the front. And let's get started on the inside. Okay, so now we're going to be doing the inside pockets. I got these flaps on. So this is all done up front. You open it up and looking through what papers we have not used yet. This one. So we have two eight by eights that we can use for the background back in here. And then for the pockets, I like this one with the little menus that goes along with keeping in our theme. Um, so I'm going to be using this for the pockets. We have two of these and we have two of these for the insides. Remember, you do not need to go all the way down because these pockets do not go all the way down. So just go a little bit below right here and th that will be fine. Do not need to go all the way down. 
and make sure these, yep, these will work. So that's what I'm going to do. So looking at these two papers, let me just show you where the pocket is because you can't see the pocket. That won't help. Let's see. Put this in. So you can see where the pocket is. So with this paper, if we put this here and this one, how did I have it? Like this. our ladies kind of match up here so their their counterparts are on the other side just kind of put them together like that so that way when we spread them apart we just have that little bit of black reveal probably doesn't really matter there's not much of a spine there but I thought that might look look kind of nice versus oh maybe Scattered doesn't matter at all. What do you think? You can do it any way you want. It might not look... I, don't, I just like that line going down like this. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Probably don't need to do that, but I just thought that would look nice to just give you the angles all going in the same direction. Okay, so this inside diagonal pocket wanted to show you what I was doing and I made a little boo-boo but so this page I've already um, inked it and put my score tape on it this is cut six and a quarter inches so that's going to go down in through here and for some reason with this page I had problems getting it to fit over this pocket edge down here so I just made a little tick mark where the pocket started and cut in a little bit so it could slip in so th that's not a problem so that's going to fit in here so this is cut six and a six and a quarter inches across and this fits in fine for some reason this one fits in fine so I wanted to make sure I kind of lined this up so these girls are going, I have this, have this line going in this direction. So I think that's about right. So I'll be putting that in and then I will have to cut the paper up here. So it fits. And then I'm going to put this in, make my diagonal cut. So I'm going to put this in and get everything fixed up. So this is it. It's completed. I think it looks so pretty. So um, we're done with this little guy for now probably going to make something for the cover a little bit of embellishment not sure and this is going to be adhered into into the folio so don't need to do anything with the back